Welcome everybody to the 2023 Acura TLX Type S. Honestly, it's one of my most favorite sedans in the market today. I mean, look at it. It's such a looker. It stands on the road so beautifully and you don't see too many on the road. So it's very exclusive and it's got the power and it's an Acura, which means it's reliable. So power and reliability, a very, very rare combo. Let's explore more about this sports sedan. The front end of the TLX is extremely striking looking and in fact one of my most favorite elements of the whole car. You can see it looks so good and it stands on the road. There's lots of cuts and creases and I really like all the elements in the design. I love the headlights, they're very sleek and the DRL is so beautifully integrated in it. It looks so menacing at night. You can even see the LED diodes in the headlight. It just looks so good. Lots of cuts and creases. The only thing I don't like in the bumper are these fake vents if I can say they are fake it's not see-through so no actual use but it adds a lot of character to the bumper and since this is the type s you do have sort of like a splitter on the front of the bumper which looks so good in this color it's not the best option although this color is growing on me but I have seen the type s in other colors especially my favorite tiger pearl which I really like and I think with the black elements on the type s it would really contrast with that yellow color but again it's so good looking you have the the, the Acura family tradition design, the grille, and you have the glass on the Acura logo because it's for the adaptive cruise control. It looks a bit like an afterthought and I feel like maybe rock chips over the years of ownership might damage that glass. So you might have to be careful about that. Otherwise, it just looks so good and it's one of my most favorite looking cars on the road today. Side profile of the TLX, again, it's one of my favorites. I love a traditional sedan side profile and this has all the elements. Since this is the Type S, you do have wider arches in the front and wider arches in the rear, which make it look very sporty. But at the same time, can be a bit tricky when you're navigating through tight spaces or parking in a very tight space. You might want to be wary of those front fenders especially. Since this is the Type S, you have a very, very big Type S badge on the fender and you have blacked out mirrors as well. Also, exclusive to the Type S are these fabulous looking 20 inch wheels. I think these are one of the best wheels in the market, full stop. It's a very controversial opinion, but I personally love these wheels. And you can also see some more elements that are exclusive to Type S and those are the brakes. You can see they really, really pop. It's a very bright red and it pops even more with this gray color. What can I say? I'm completely mesmerized by the way this Type S looks and I think it's, again, I would like to re reiterate the same thing. It's one of the better looking cars in the, on the road today. The rear of the TLX, the whole theme just carries on to the rear. You have lots of cuts and creases in the bumper. You have a fabulous looking lip spoiler, which I really like, and it's in black, so it contrasts with the paint really well. You've got some nice looking taillights, which have Acura embedded on the side of them. You do have the Type S badging, and the main dominating thing in the rear, which is exclusive to the Type S, are these quad exhaust pipes. I think they are very in your face and I really love them for that very reason. They look really good and they sound really good as well. They add a lot of character to the whole sportiness that the TLX Type S is trying to live by. What can I say? It's such a clean design, so striking and I can't say this one more time but I have to. The TLX Type S is one of the best looking cars on the road today. Now inside the TLX Type S and as you can see it has lots of familiar Acura elements. This center console, the screen is unmistakably Acura. In fact, I don't even like this touchpad which is again also a trademark Acura thing. I hope in the next year or two they upgrade their system and they get like a really nice intuitive fun to use unit because this trackpad is very confusing and it can get a very annoying for especially first time users. I have now used a few Acura so I know my way around the menu and how to navigate this trackpad but for first time users this can be very annoying. You do have some gloss back in the center console, you do have the buttons for the drive selector, I can't say it's a gear lever but you have buttons for the P, R, N, D and S. 
uh, you do have this very big dynamic mode button so when you actually flick it through for comfort normal sport and sport plus you do have cup holders you do have a wireless charger and you have this little palm rest or wrist rest i can say for using the trackpad you can rest your arm and use the trackpad overall i really like the design and the fit and finish is very good it's so premium and i love the usage of leather and sort of this aluminium sort of finish on the center console it carries onto the doors and the leather and you have a blend of black and red stitching so you have black and red stitching on the steering wheel you have black and red stitching on the dash and the whole seats are completely red with some touches of black alcantara in the middle i really like it some people might find it really loud but i personally like the whole red theme inside because hey it's a sporty car right and sporty means red that's the unsaid rule in the automotive industry so there's plenty of red acura has made this car make look very very sporty on the inside and i personally like it it's very practical you have the right amount of storage spaces inside and it's very practical and very sporty at the same time one thing i really like are these dials they bring back a lot of memories from the older hondas from the early 2000s it's sort of like a silverish whitish and it's got very bright red dials it's just the perfect blend and honestly i love spending time inside this interior even when it's stationary or driving i am now in the rear of the tlx as you can see space it's not its forte it's a very big car it's very sizable honestly when you see it on the road and you park it you do feel it's a very big car but that's size does not translate into space in the rear and it's probably the only chink in the armor in the TLX space is okay i'm 5 foot 8 and this driving position is slightly more behind than what i would have i have enough knee room and i have just enough uh, space under the seat to tuck in my feet headroom is a bit tight i mean i'm okay but anyone taller than me maybe 5 10 5 11 for sure your head will brush against the roof It's a very sloping roof and some parts of the pillar here really intrude into the cabin so more than actual the roof touching it's this part of the side C pillar that would actually brush against your head the windows are decently big but there is no panoramic sunroof so it's a hit or miss it might be a deal breaker for you you do have a center armrest with cup holders and some more storage as well and the whole red theme has been carried on to the back with the same black alcantara finish in the middle the big transmission hump can also be a downer and it can be a bit troublesome for the middle passenger you do have a headrest but it would be a little difficult for them to accommodate their legs because the transmission hump is so big also you do not have charge ports in the back and only ac vents in 2023 i believe USB ports are now a mandate in the back. Almost every car I've seen has them, but this does not. No heated seats in the back as well, but you do have lovely cutouts in the steering for the fabulous ELS Studio 3D, which is a trademark Acura thing, and they have it in all their premium cars. This has it too, and it sounds really well. Behind the wheel of the TLX Type S, so let's get the numbers out of the way first. This has a three-liter turbocharged V6, produces 355 horsepower. has all wheel drive and is mated to an 10 speed gearbox as you can see there is no gear lever so you have to put it into drive with the button and you set off and i am in comfort mode right now and honestly the engine is so silent it's so quiet you can hardly feel anything it's so refined and you can totally just daily drive this in traffic or cruise on the highway there is no exhaust drone no nothing it's so comfortable it's like just the perfect mode to have every day but once you play with this drive selector mode the dynamic mode as it's called in the acura terminologies i can put it into normal i can put it into sport and if i hold it and put it into sport plus i can instantly feel everything just getting a little tighter a little aggressive everything just becomes a little bit more fun if i floor it it's very much manageable even though this is running on 20 inch 35 profile tires which is extremely thin and no place for a car like this on such kind of roads but even if i put it to back into say comfort i can feel the suspension dialing 
down and I can feel it becoming a bit more comfortable and the bumps become a bit more tolerable. Even in Sport Plus, you can do it. Obviously, you would feel a bit more jolts on in your back, but otherwise, it still rides really, really well for a sports sedan or anything that's supposed to be really fun around the twisties. It shouldn't be this comfortable, but this is. And I think that speaks volume in how uh, Acura has tuned the suspension so beautifully. I went over some train tracks and uh, it just handled it like a champ. I'm on still on some very very bad roads and I can still manage it really well. In the meanwhile, I'll talk about the fuel efficiency. Because the fuel efficiency, if you drive it like how it's supposed to, when you have fun all the time in traffic, it'll give really bad numbers. Uh, I think I was I saw it 1.19, 0.5 to 20 liters per 100. On the highway, it can easily give 9 to 10 liters per 100, which is respectable for a car of this size. But yeah. It's not the most efficient thing, but it's not supposed to be. If you expect efficiency from it, that's your mistake, honestly. And now I have some open sections, and if I have the opportunity, I'll put it back into Sport Plus. Yes, and you can hear, oh, you can hear the engine, it drops a few gears. You can use the paddles to drop the gear, and the steering becomes a bit nice. Wow, you can feel the all-wheel drive rear bias. It's sending power to the rear, but it's doing very well. Oh my god, it's so fun. The steering feel could have been better. It's a bit too light, but it's a fast track. So, you can have a lot of fun in the corners. Honestly, this car is such a joy. While you can carry your family in comfort. What else do you need from a car? It does it all. In conclusion then, the 2023 Acura TLX Type S. Well, when I drove it last year, I really enjoyed it. And when I drove it again this year, my love for it got rekindled. It's so good. It looks so striking. It's one of the best looking cars on the road. It drives really well. I love the engine. The gearbox would have been better, but it's not a deal breaker for me. What could be a deal breaker for many people is the interior space. Not for the front passengers, but for the rear passengers at around $65,000 to $70,000 for this Type S depending on what options you go for. I think it's fairly decently priced. I know it goes up against some very very good cars which have a lot of things going for themselves but if you're looking for something that is supremely reliable because it's an Acura it will probably outlive you and something that looks good and drives so well you can hardly go wrong with the TLX Type S and if I could I would totally buy one in a heartbeat tomorrow.